Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you four common plasterboard fixings. There's tons on the market but I'm just going to explain these four here. I'll probably do a video on some of the others later. Um, to start with we've got these raw plugs, Uno's. They're a universal plug. They work well in masonry and they, they work in plasterboard as well. I use these for very light stuff but they're a good, they're a good fixing, a really convenient fixing. I've got a 6mm and a 7mm versions of the raw plug unos next we've got these are raw plug as well but these are a self-drilling plasterboard worm um they are self-drilling but i like to do a pilot hole just to help it guide in and also if it's plastered it reduces the chance of it pulling the plaster out towards you and blowing the blowing a hole in your wall so they're the self-drilling worm after that we've got these hollow wall anchors these require drilling a 10 mil hole for this version. These are raw plug. The raw plug ones also say that they just screw in, opposed to some you have to use a setting tool. These ones just say you can screw them in, but they can spin out. So um, if you have a setting tool, it's nice to use a setting tool on these. But these are a really good fixing once you get them in, if you get them in right. These hollow wall anchors, they hold a good amount of weight. And then following that here, we've got the toggle, which I also known as a butterfly fixing. These you drill a hole in the plasterboard, you compress the wings, you push it through, they flip open and as you pull back and screw, the wings will hold against the back of the plasterboard. Um, then these are toggle fixings, they come in different sizes. I've got a washer on here to simulate a bracket because if you didn't have that on there, uh, you'd lose your fixing when you put it in the wall so you have to put these through your bracket or through what you're screwing and put them back together before you push them through the wall um, but these are a really good fixing so let's put them into the plasterboard and see how they work so we've got the red brown who knows red into a six mil hole brown into a seven mil hole Following that we've got the worm, which again I've just done a little pre-drill hole just because it makes life a lot easier, especially if you're putting them in by hand. So that is the 7mm, the worm. Um, you could do a bigger hole, you could do a small hole, you could do no hole with those, but it's just how I do it and I get a good success rate with that. Next up is the hollow wall anchor. So these push into a 10 mil hole. So once in, you've got to make sure it's pushed real tight. And then you're going to want to slowly screw it. I'm going to use my drill just to get a bit of a better. And then as you screw, the uh, you get the fixing goes in the front there. Get rid of this bit of plasterboard off the front. Of here. And then at the back, it sets, pulls back. The reason it was jumping around a bit is because I've got the wrong um, drill bit in my driver for that so that's how they go in they just go in and screw like i say they're a lot easier using a setting tool these ones say you don't have to and well you didn't have to for that but again a lot easier with a setting tool um so following this we've then got the butterfly so you push these through the hole as i say you need the bracket on Otherwise you would lose your fixing. So that's, then you would pull back on your bracket and, and tighten it up. I can't do that as well as hold the jig. So I'm going to hold the back of the fixing. So that's tight and that's what happens at the back. It just pulls, pulls flat. So to use these worms, they come with a pre sized screw 
you just put them in. If you use the wrong screw, they can lock up inside and spin the fixing out. They just go through and then lock up. Obviously, if you had a fixing or something, then that's just how they work. Gives you a thread in the wall, basically, for it to go into. So these Unos, we'll start with the, we'll go for the 7mm first. I've got a washer as if I'm using it as a bracket, because obviously you'd be screwing something to the wall. It's quite hard to hold everything at the same time. So as these screw in, on the back, you see they've, it's pulled itself down. And that's what makes them a plasterboard fixing is they've compressed down and then it's wedged out i'll do it again on the red one so you want to get these in nice and square again you can see if i just get this out of the way for you you can see it's bulged out again, sort of pulled back. Um, and I didn't even get that one fully square and it's still pulled back. So again, you've got toggle fixings, hollow wall anchors, worms, then the Uno plugs. There's loads of other plugs on the on the market that plastic plugs that work in plasterboard. But these Unos I do like um, and I use them quite often. So that's how they work again with the hollow wall. This one here, I would advise using a setting tool because they do like i say they can spin out especially if you just got a plastered wall plasterboarded wall and it's not plastered you have no hard finish for those teeth to dig into they can spin out in the holes um this one started to slightly go that's why it ripped a bit of my plast a uh, bit of the sheet in there so um i would use a setting tool if uh if you've got it available especially if it's just a plasterboarded wall with no plaster but as I say, these, these raw plug ones are really good. They show that you can screw them straight in. Just press firmly when tightening the screw to set the fixing in position and then remove the screw after. So that's exactly what you do. And then you can just unscrew the screw and you're left with the fixing in your wall. So once you unscrew this, you can put it through your bracket and then you have good solid fixing in your wall that you can now go back through and just screw up to.